So this is Firefly and it just looks absolutely insane. It has two missile racks, engines, two air intakes, and it just has a beautiful design. Oh, and also a reinforced nose. And by the way, I made this plane. Like, if you, if you don't know what you can do, is you can start your planes, like, on the wrong side. And then it ends up having, like, a pretty cool effect, actually. Having white with a little bit. This, uh, I made this plane in the tutorial. Um, I'm just gonna toss a missile to the side. Still there. Okay, now, this, this is what it looks like when it's made normally. But I'm... I'm showing off this one because I feel like this one I just made a lot better. I put more time and effort and love into it than the other ones. I mean, than the, than the green one I made. But, yeah, you what you can do is you can make it uh, like, like Falcon, how it has the air intake and missile racks are closer up. You can make it like Falcon, but where's the originality in that? I mean, like... It's basically tire shark mixed with falcon, so and not not much uh, originality goes into that. You can also make it with falcon alpha, but I've just been too lazy to do that uh, recently. And yeah. To fold Firefly, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to fold it in half from corner to corner just like this and you're going to fold it again but the other way just like that and now you're going to flip it over just like that and you're going to fold it in half just like this And now we're going to squash fold this small flap right here. It's not small, it's medium. Now you're going to fold it over and you're going to squash this big flap right here. Make sure that everything is even in there and you're going to squash it. Just like this. Make sure everything's lined up. And now you're going to fold this big flap up to the from these corners. Just like this. Make make sure it goes up as far as it can go without tearing. Just like that. Now you're going to flip it over and then fold the excess paper behind. Make sure it really gets to that point. What was that? Okay. I'm leaving that and I'm too lazy to edit that one out. And now you're going to fold this big flap into the center, just like this. Make sure everything is aligned. And you're going to do that again, but make sure that this paper gets released. Make sure it's all perfect. Just like that. And now, 
going to fold this into the center again. Now I go. Now what I do when when this happens right here, you can see how it's not really along the edge. And same thing for on the other side. You can see how it's like bubbling out a little bit. What I do is I open up the paper and I just kind of crease it, crease it really good. Then I pinch it there and then fold it over. And now you can see that connection is a lot better. I'll just do that on the other side. everything's all perfect. I'm gonna do that one more time. Make sure there's no bubble. There. That looks good. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to release this trap paper underneath. and squash fold it. Now you're going to fold the edges in to prepare for a petal fold. I guess I should make it even first. There, now edges in, unfold, and fold it in, just like that, kind of pitch the top of the inside petal fold, and then just kind of push it down, it should all work out in the end, it should. Just like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up along a, a hidden edge inside right here. Just like that. Now you're going to fold this to the edge that you've just made. And you're going to fold this again to the edge you just made. Now, you can repeat that on the other side. like that and almost done one last crease there and now what you're going to do I'm going to start off on this side so you're going to unfold this flip the paper over, and then you're going to continue this crease just like on River. Just like that. 
and what it should line up with the pedal fold, like right here. And I'm just gonna crease that under. And now what you're going to do is you're going to reverse this crease right here. Just kind of push it and then just kind of refine it and then pinch it. It's kind of thick, so this may be a little bit tricky. And then you're going to make a new crease right here, just like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down and it should come to a point right here. So I'm going to fix that. Just like that. And now you want to make sure that this part's really creased well so for the next step so what you're going to do is you're going to pull this down you're just going to swivel it down like that and then just kind of you're going to take the part with the pedal fold in it so you, just like this you can see how there's this and then there's this you're going to want to do this with the this layer upwards and then you're going to make this all one crease you're going to reverse this crease just like this and you're going to reverse this crease just make sure nothing is weird there and now when you fold this up you can see that there is a flap here for the air intakes. Uh, you can design some better air intakes. I'm just too lazy to design better air intakes for now. Um, you can also do this on uh, like the uh, like the Falcon where it has like a oval air intake. Or you can do it like Falcon Alpha. I haven't made the Falcon Alpha yet, but I'll probably do it someday. This is being weird, so I'm not following my advice very well. Just like that. I think it's good enough. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take this flap, release its trapped paper, and fold it over just like that. And I'm going to do that on the other side now. Just like that. And now just reverse this crease. Also, one thing that helps is that this layer, this top layer matches up with this bottom layer, so it's like even. It's like that. That also really helps. And now what you're going to do, 
grease this very well and swivel this down and then separate this, these layers, just like that. And then take the creases, reverse it, and then just kind of pitch it down and boom, just like that. Once you get better, it def you can definitely get the hang of it. Now I just pulled out that track paper and fold it on top. Just kind of locks the nose together a little bit better. Just make sure everything is strong creases and there. Now you're going to fold this up and then fold this edge along this edge. This. and then you're going to fold it oh my goodness and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this from this edge right here down to the point just like that and then you're going to fold it back up on itself it should be thirds it's okay if it's not because sometimes it's not thirds for me sometimes it is it's better when it's thirds because then it's easier to deal with And now what you're going to do is you're going to double inside reverse fold this. You're going to inside reverse fold that. And the crease is already there for you, so that's always nice. And then just kind of push that down, push that down and then crease this up. It helps you get the crease that you need. And then just kind of inside reverse fold it. Just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this down and then you're going to line up this edge with that edge. Just like that. It's a little bit, it's better if you do it not like at the very edge because then it leaves more room for you to fold over. And now you're going to flip it over and then fold this up. And now you have your wing reference. You're going to fold the missile rack down so that this edge right here is parallel to this edge of the wing. Try to get it as parallel as possible. I think that looks pretty good. And now what you're going to do is you're going to inside reverse fold that, just like that. Boom. Now you're going to fold this in underneath, and that's how the missile racks lock in place. Now you're going to do that on the other side. Fold this up and then back down on itself, just like so. And fold this down. And back up onto thirds. Just 
gonna make this a little bit more even there i think it's good enough and then inside reverse fold and fold it up to the point And fold this down, then back up, just like this. Oh, and by the way, this step helps it to help some missile racks. Uh, gives you a reference to how far away the missile rack should be. So that's why you do that. So, and then you fold this up, and then you fold this down parallel to the edge, just like so. And then a fold, inside reverse fold. Inside reverse fold. And then just gonna fold that out. Make sure that doesn't do anything weird. Like it doesn't wanna become released. You gotta trap that paper. Keep it trapped. And now that you've done that, I want you to fold this up. We're going to work on the rear wing and fin now. I mean, the rear wing and fins. I'm going to fold this to the edge, just like that, as close as it can be. And fold it to the edge that you've just made, just like this. Now this next part's very similar to tiger shark, so heads up. It's like almost exactly like tiger shark, so. It's kind of like a mix between Avon and tiger shark, so. Yeah. Which are both very similar uh, in the back. Now that we have that, by the way, this part right here this flap should definitely be along this crease. Just a reference that you should look look towards, look at. And now what you're going to do, you're going to, oh wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo that. So you're going to fold this up right like this. And then you're going to open up this flap, fold, fold this down, of course, I um, forgot to mention that, and then fold this up while keeping that flap down, and then fold it like that. And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up like that. Excellent, I'm just gonna... And now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up, just like this. Make sure that everything is even on top. Everything looks good. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in. Just like that. And then you're going to fold this down. 
By the way, what what happened to me just then uh, shouldn't really happen to you. I don't, I don't know what's going on. It is being very strange. And then you're going to fold this down just like this. It's kind of like a hornet that I've already uploaded. But it's more like tiger shark. Okay. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this up just like this. And then you're going to put this down and then create a crease that goes to that point. And by the way, when you fold this up, this should come to a point right there. And then just fold that up. And then you're going to fold this triangle right here in half, just like this. And now you're going to fold this flap so that it touch so that uh, this um, here, uh, edge goes along the edge of the fuselage, just like this. And now what you're going to do is you're going to take this out, and then you are going to fold it down like that just like in tiger shark and now what you're going to do is you're going to release this trapped paper and you're going to put this flap underneath just like this and you're going to fold this up And you're going to fold this edge along the to the to the flap that you've just made, just like this. You're going to unfold this flap and that flap. You're going to flip it over and inside reverse fold it. Just like that. And now you're going to fold this, fold this flap in half, fold the, from this crease to this edge in half while spread squashing this point right here. And you're going to try to aim the point to this crease right here. There's a, a crease right here, and you're going to try to aim that. And also right here. And now what you're going to do is you're going to swivel this flap up. Not like this, but like, and you're going to swivel it down so that this flap uh, goes along this, just like that. And you're going to fold this down so that this edge right here is parallel to this edge, just like in Tiger Shark. And what you're going to do now is you're going to release this trap paper just to make things a little bit more smooth. And just like that. Now, I like this, this step is optional, but I like it when I, when the, the flaps don't really, like when the engines, like it doesn't really stick out too much. So I'm gonna do this. It's kind of optional, it's just I think it looks nicer. But yeah, you can do that. And then you can flip it over again and fold this up 
and you're going to fold along this crease right here so that it hits that point right there there just like that and you're going to fold this in so that it it's a little bit over so that it would touch so that uh, it would touch um, if it was if the line was continued and then that would create a decently sized engine now you're going to fold this down make sure everything is creased all right and nothing is bubbling up and you're going to fold this fold this big flap right here as far as it will go without tearing And then you're going to fold along the fuselage like this. And what, are you, what you're going to do now is you're going to unfold that and take just one of these layers and then fold it so that it hits the center just kind of fold it out like this and then fold it up to reinforce it just a little bit more. Just like that. And then you fold it again. Just like that. And then you uh, release this trap paper right here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take this flap and then push it around. Wait, no, that's not, that's not what you do. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to fold this edge in so, on to so that this edge inside of the model goes on goes onto that crease, also on the inside of the model. So. You're going to have to kind of open up the model a little bit. It's going to be kind of hard to see from this angle. But I can show you when I'm done with this. Just like that. You can see that. Okay. And then you're going to release this trap paper. And then fold it down as far as it will go and now you're going to reference this wing right here and you're going to fold the the tip of the fin down so that this edge is parallel and so that it hits the edge of the wing right here you can see how that's a point and that's that's how you want to hit it that's where you want to make it and yeah you just inside you unfold and then inside reverse fold it Just like that. An easy inside reverse fold. And now what you do is you flip it over again. And then you're going to fold this, this flap in half and swivel fold it. I'll make sure that this flap right here gets put underneath just like that. Makes everything neater.
just like that. And then you're going to fold this down and then back up on itself. You're gonna roll it into half, one half. And then you just repeat that onto this side. So you fold this up, just like that far as it will go without tearing. And then you fold this up with it. I don't know why, but this, this side was being very weird, so it might not be weird with you, but I, I don't know. But yeah, you just do that and then do this. Hold it to the edge. And then you flip it over. Well, you put this down first and then you flip it over. And then you open up the layer. Just open up this flap right here. Take this flap and then push it out just like that. And try to make sure that this lands on, that this edge lands on this crease. So I'm going to do that. I don't know why it doesn't like to. I guess that it's good enough. So I'm going to flip it over. And I'm going to fold this up. I'm going to fold this up here, fold the point up, just like that. And then you're going to squash fold that down. And then you're going to fold this down. And then you fold this along this edge, just like in Tiger Shark. And you just kind of release that trapped paper. It's like in Tiger Shark. I would be saying that a lot because it is just like Tiger Shark. Like literally almost everything about this plane is like Tiger Shark. And then you re release this trapped paper. And you, you fold this flap behind. Just like that. Fold this up and you swivel that down. Fold this down. Or not yet, at least. Um, I'll do that in a second. Uh, you fold this flap up. So I'm gonna use the other side because it's being wonky. Gonna book, book match it. Kind of like that. Fold this down.
fold this up and then fold this down. Release that trapped paper. That is the rear wing done. Now fold this up. Fold this to that edge. Again, it's optional. Fold this to that edge along the center crease, just like that. Fold these flaps down. Then it make it goes to a point right there. While uh, if you continue this line, it should go to the, the edge of the paper. That's that's your reference. Wasn't too clear on that for uh, this one, so making that more clear. Fold this down. Fold this as far as it will go. And then fold this along the fuselage. Unfold. Then open this up. And do a little swivel fold to kind of just like that. Pull this out. Fold this out at least that trap paper and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this in just like last time so that it hits the crease just like that and just kind of pop it out and put it tuck it behind as far as it will go make sure it goes as far as it can go because then it just doesn't look as nice Fold this so that it hits the wing and it's parallel to the itself. And then you're going to open it up and inside reverse fold, just like that. Fold this up and that is another pin done. And, oh, I forgot to do something on this side. Is that you're going to want to, like, make this, not this edge right here. Not the, the edge that's closer to the fin is what you're going to want to need. And then you're going to want to make a parallel, like, you're going to want to continue it so that it hits the fin. It doesn't really matter too much. It's just a reference. But about that much would be good. And then you're going to inside reverse fold it. Just like that. And now continuing on to the, to the other side, you're going to fold this up. And crease that.
just making sure that's straight. That's fine. Now, I'm going to fold this in and roll it up into halves and fold it in half to get a book match. And about that is good. And so you're going to Fold that in. Just like that. Now you're almost done. What you're going to do next is you're going to fold this flap in so that it just looks cleaner. to do that on the on this side so my bad what you're going to do now is you're going to fold this to this edge and you're going to do it as far as it can go without tearing Just like that, or like that. That's good. This is very thick paper, so if you have like something to crease with, it might help you with like um, like maybe like a mom collar bead. That usually works, or like. Maybe a pencil or something. going to jet fold oh yeah make sure that it all stays inside the fuselage usually it helps when there's not like random pockets sticking out of it oh I forgot one thing that's pretty helpful is if you fold up the edges of the fins and wings just like this usually helps it. I mean, like, you don't need to do that. It just kind of helps it. I'm going to retry doing that on this side because I did it really weird. Why is it doing that? Okay. Whatever. I'm just going to fold this down. Jet fold like that. And fold this into fourths. Just fold that in half and then fold, roll it up just like this. You're almost done. Now all that you have to do is angle the wings and shape the model and the, and shape the fins angle the wings and fins and shape the models i guess that the fins kind of count as the wings because kind of like part of it i guess but now what you're going to do is you're going to um going to like put pinch on the top right here 
and I'm going to use a, some kind of pencil. It's just the random thing that I picked out randomly. Um, just, just randomly on, out of frame on my desk. Gosh, I'm so glad that that's... I'm so glad that I, everything's out of frame. I got way too much stuff on my desk. But yeah, you just kind of shape it like that. Decently shaped, it's, it's good enough. And then what you can do here is you can fold these flaps in half. Like on the, it's gonna be a little bit thicker, but it's okay. But you're gonna just fold them in half. Like that. And those are the air intakes. Kind of fold that down a little bit more and yeah, that's that that's the plan. Um to insert missiles I'm just gonna go find some. I don't know where my missiles went. Okay, so this is a random missile I found. Um, to insert the missiles, what you're going to do is you're going to open up the flap just a little bit, just like this, and then take the pocket and open that up too. I like to use the nose of the missile. It does help a lot. And just kind of like, cre don't crease it. Don't crease it open, just kind of like, Push it open and like kind of leave it open. And you're going to stick the tabs. This is Jason Merrill's Hunter missile, by the way. So, um, if you were wondering, I feel like I have to give credit because I didn't design the missile. Um, so just insert the tabs into where they're supposed to go. This missile rack is being very weird. I'm going to use the other one. Yeah, so you just open it up. Like that. And you stick the tabs inside. And then you kind of fold it behind. And that's how you lock the missiles in place. And yeah, that's that's one missile in. Uh, I I have more, but I'm too lazy to find them right now. But yeah, that that's the plan.